then they would replace the same coffin so the coffin would have been used hundreds of times. We are now standing inside that very, very stone that hundreds of bodies would have been placed in. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in Yall in County Cork and this is St Mary's Church. Right, we're going to go into the right here. Right, this is a very, very old stone. So it says here lay it the body of. Not really sure, could be a robin. The son of Richard, unsure of the surname, uh, and then it's his wife, February, and then just down at the bottom, 1632. Unfortunately, a lot of the writing here is gone, but it does say body of, that looks like an R-O-B-I-N. Robin, the son of Gone Richard. So unless the, the surname is Richard, maybe. So we have a few stones that are just up against the church wall itself. This one there says 1792. And this is for the body of... Hmm. Arabelle. Could be Arabelle, yeah. Very hard to read. I hope it's not Annabelle. 1792 there. It's not Annabelle. <laughs> not the one you're thinking of anyhow. But this one is fantastic. Look at this. You have here skull and crossbones. This stone is actually 1727. I presume that's the sands of time. I'm not sure what have been on the other side. It does kind of give me an... Maybe it was a dagger, was it? Could have been. This says here lieth the body of. Just here. Um, looks like Patrick actually. Patrick. Not sure. But they are 17. I think it's 23, maybe 25 there. I think it's 1723 actually. Beautiful stone. Memento Mori. Or Momentum Mori. So we have the whole graveyard way up here. Now for some of my viewers that have been watching for a couple of years at least, you might recognize this church and graveyard. But I was always curious to know if they would open the grounds up. That looks like a, a huge vault. I do see people up in the graveyard or up in some part of it and it does look like we might be able to get up there but there is a very interesting find at the wall the old town walls of Eol um, and it was for coffins for those who died during famine times. So we might let them mooch around in there first. We're going to get up to this graveyard and then I will bring you back and show you what I'm talking about. So 
So this place was completely sealed off the last time. Although we did get a quick run around. And that's the graveyard. Whew. <laughs> That'll get your your steps in. Beautiful church. And as I say, y'all, the whole town of y'all is just there. Right, do you think we can go in? Right, I'm going to try and get in and then I'll turn this back on again in a minute. Right. So the visitors are gone. So basically, during the, the famine, so around 1845 to 1852, you know, the, the poorer families were mostly buried in mass graves but they didn't have money for a coffin. So you can see this coffin shaped hole in the wall. The body was placed in a coffin which had a lever so the bottom would um, open up. There were, you know, the lines, the, the grave itself with lines and the person themselves had only a, like a shroud. Um, and then they would replace the coffin there. So basically they bring the poor person to the coffin, put them in the coffin, bring them somewhere to a mass grave, pull the lever, the person would fall out into their grave and then they would replace the same coffin. So the coffin would have been used hundreds of times. So, and you can see it is exactly shaped perfectly to fit a coffin. But it does, you know, it's, it's sad um, because like that was the best funeral they were going to get. And there were so many people died during the famine time. We're just going to turn around. We are now standing inside that very, very stone that hundreds of bodies would have been placed in quite eerie really right let me out I often um you know just touch the stones because I do believe in like that stone tape theory where the energies kind of the stones hold on to the energies but I'll just stand back and show you so a cheap oops a cheap way of burying the poor families of the famine at that time Right, so if we turn around, we have this huge, impressive vault. Um, it does look like it needs repair. You can just see the vaults here, or the vaults, the actual vents. The vents, there's four of them. Um, then the top piece itself, whether it has a name, Edith Marie Merrick, daughter of Samuel J. Merrick. Uh, I think she was only 38 when she passed in, I believe it's 1923 there. So an amazing, huge vault, but it does need some repair. But just look at the vents. They are crazy. Almost like exhaust center. Right. I won't be going into the church today um, because we have done it already, but I will link the video because there's an extremely impressive um, effigy in there. There's skulls and crossbones, so it's very interesting. So I will link that video, or I might even play some into this video, whichever is easiest in edit. Look at that. Look at these people lying up at the top as well. Richard Boyle, it looks like. And down at the bottom, even. Yeah. 
beautiful iron barely surviving on a little bit of iron there and it's for the loving memory of Reverend Jones Whitla I think it says Whitla Whitla yeah Methodist minister a Methodist minister in 1922 so you can just see there how large that is right we have a lot to cover so and this time we're doing it the right way we're not jumping a, a gate to, to show you so I'm going to turn you back on when I get back up to the top right so guys we've made it up slightly out of breath but look at the view It is absolutely gorgeous. And you were saying it reminds you of Edinburgh. Reminds me of Edinburgh up in the hill, you know. Yeah. All the lovely monuments. Well. Looking down, but you're looking down on the Yall Harbour. The only thing is, it's great that they have like this bark mulch down, but it is still really, really slippy. And I'm not great on my two feet as it is just walking normally. But I'd really like to get in to see some of them, but they don't have any kind of little pathways to get into them. But we'll see what we can do. There is a beautiful vault just here, and I'd like to be able to see what that says. Surrounding the, the graveyard up here is the old medieval wall of Yall. Lots of the towns in Ireland had them. Wow, that bark mulch is slippy. The vibes of summer. Yeah. Today. In between the rain. The place is quite large. But you just can't get into those stones. I mean, it's on a complete incline there. A big slope. So what we'll be able to read is not a lot unfortunately a lot of these chest tombs beautiful rails it's nice to see it maintained isn't it? it is maintained but i definitely think this bark mulch is the wrong thing to have because I could end up especially going down here. <laughs> I could end up on my bum any minute. So I'm just going to hold on to you. We need four wheel drive. <laughs> oh Lord. But look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my god. It is so hard to walk around. That is gorgeous with the big tree there. Absolutely gorgeous. I need a heart. <laughs> uh, There's a swing is around here. Whoa. <laughs> If I fall, I swear, uh, it would be hilarious, but sore. Oh, now, oh gosh, it just keeps going on. There's another big slope here. Like, you can't get into any of those. If I was maybe 10 years younger, I'd uh, chance it. It's such a pity, really. Right, grab onto me again. If I go, you go. Oh no. <laughs> it's the thing when you start moving, it's hard to stop again. Your feet just want to keep going down. Oh. Now, let's see what we can see up here, if anything at all. Wow, look at that. That is a beautiful vault. We have to try and get up to see that one. I don't know why the grass is long here. I don't know. Probably didn't cut it yet, maybe I don't know. Right, we have to get up. That looks like it's another one just there. Nice stone work there on there. Right, let's see if we can make it. Oh no, it's nearly too high up for me. <laughs> oh. Right. So that one, you haven't a hope of getting into it. Or having a look even, but this one, 
really stands out in the whole graveyard. We'll have two wet feet. Beautiful line over the door. Look at that. A blesk style. Is that his name? Reverend D something. R E V. Reverend D P. P. Warren. I think it's W. Oh, oh, oh. No, hold on, it's Reverend D. P. W. Drew. Drew. Okay. Vault Lord. then wrote on it. There's a lot of ivy there. But it is absolutely amazing. Up right up to the obelisk. There's more writing up there, but we haven't a hope of reading that, of course. There is another, like a shield to the left of the door. And I don't know what's on the shield. Maybe it was a dagger or something. Or a stars. Oh yeah, stars on a... I don't know what it is. You don't have to let me know. Down in the comments, I'd say there was another one on that side. I don't know where these bits have come from. I don't think they belong to the vault. But just look how uneven it is in areas. It's so hard to get around. Unfortunately, I'm not even going to attempt to get up to that one, but which is a pity as well, because it does look like there's nice designs on the stone in front of it. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Just there. God, you'd imagine over time with rain and everything else, they'll all start falling, won't they? This one here has lovely rails around it. And once again, I don't think we can read it. It has like a, an urn or a chalice maybe on top. Can you read that? Oh. Richard Robert, Robert Bradshaw. Richard Robert Bradshaw. Who departs this life 1868. 1868. Aged five years. Oh. Also, Alice, there's an Alice underneath it. Just up a bit with your torch there, Alice. Oh yeah, Alice. Ellen. Ellen. So very, very young. Wow. And he's just there off the, the little path they have created. Now, this is the big issue, getting back down. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you were going down first. <laughs> just jump, go on. Yeah, you see, I can't do that. <laughs> Give us your hand. Oh, there's a spider on me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. <gasps> that was a very close one. Oh, my God. I don't know what you need. There is a few headstones, actually. Look at the one over there, how it's leaning. Yeah, there, there, I was looking at that one. Like, there is some that are dangerously, you know, leaning. Like... The reverends back in the day had really elaborate. Oh, beautiful places well, to, like to rest. Today, a reverend as such wouldn't really no. have that kind of a burial vault, would they? Look at this, like a little little stone steps. Might chance this. I might be able to do this part. Yeah, just look at it. That vault is absolutely gorgeous, though, the way it kind of just stands there. Mm into the hill yeah oh once again not sure where we're really walking i just want to try and get up to this little one up here it's interesting design it seems to have a crest oh wow look at that for a crest wow so we have a line up at the very top, a line there, it's like, I don't know, some sort of eagle or dragon maybe, that's maybe that's dragon. the eagle, yeah, look at that, look at the feet, amazing, <laughs> oh, there's a lot of writing on this, but let's see if we can find a name and date. 
sacred to the memory of Samuel Freeman, who departed this life on the 21st day of February, Anno Domini, or Domini, yeah, 1821, land, what? oh, and in the 80th year of his age. Uh, he endured a painful illness with resignation, divine will rely, or sorry, will relying on the mercy of his Redeemer. He had a most, a most cheerful disposition and a memory, memory almost unrelated, is it? Un unrivaled. He was a kind friend amongst a most indulgent oh sorry a most indulgent you know a most indignant and yeah. is it indulgent indulgent yeah oh sorry indulgent and generous landlord amongst several bequests, bequests he left to the poor of the par or this parish the sum of 20 pound and to the parish. parish of Temple Michael, where he formerly Reside. resided, the sum of five pounds. So he left. Oh my he left God! To this, parish. this parish and five pounds. That is amazing. A generous landlord. Yeah. Can we just see? Take a look at his name again. Samuel. Freeman. You don't see many wow. Today, you surely don't. That is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy I came to, to see that. Now, just look even at the sides of it. Yeah, there's lovely designs. I know it's hard to see in the sun. They're almost like 3D. Almost like a little house. Wow. It's nice to see the inscription. Giving you a, a detail. A detail, yeah. So he had an illness and which and, he uh, suffered. Whoops. He suffered before he... He passed away. Absolutely amazing. Well, that was some workout, wasn't it? Trying to even get. And, you know, I suppose reading that inscription, mm. how generous he was. Yeah. He was kind of thinking, well, you can't bring it with you. Yeah, which a lot of people don't think that way, of course. Yeah. Oh, mind now, just be careful. Find those steps and we'll get back down again. But that was nice to read. Nice inscription. Now. So what I'll do is I'll either include footage of inside the church um, into this video. If you don't see it in this video, it will be linked below. Um, as I said, the inside, whoa, as I nearly went again. The inside is absolutely amazing to see. Gosh, this, oh, big wasp. <laughs> if I don't fall, I'm going to get stung. <laughs> oh, wow. So we have some more recent graves there as well. Viewed, look at this one, do we? See this one here. The white one? Interesting inscription. Cecil Pratt. Hold on now. So Cecil Pratt, he was a most expert angler until death. Envious of his merit, threw out his line, hooked him and landed him. Here, the 14th of June, 1973, age 67. Wow. And underneath that, his wife is there as well. Died on their wedding anniversary. Uh, time passes, memories stay, loved and remembered every day together again. That's beautiful. Little boat, it? Yeah, so he was an expert angler until, a most expert angler until death. 
envious of his merit, threw out his line and hooked him and landed him. So basically they're talking about debt. Do you know that debt came for him and hooked him in? The Grim Reaper. Wow, that's fantastic. And a beautiful little sailing boat up at the top. So, and then his wife. So actually just Cecil. Oh, sorry. So I read this wrong. So Cecil Pratt, his wife was Elizabeth. And Elizabeth died on 90, in 1997, aged 88, on their wedding anniversary. Cecil, or Cecil, I think it's Cecil, died June 1973. Absolutely beautiful stone. Very well put. Now, this is where I almost fell, so I better be careful this time. I was just saying about, look at the tomb. Just here, the chest tomb. Like it's barely, whoa, barely nearly fell again. Barely hanging in there, isn't it? Only for the railing. Yeah. I don't know, the railing even seems to be almost gone as well. Let's see who this is. Um, Louisa. Yeah, it looks like Louisa. H-E-N-N-S, Hennis. Yeah. Any date there? Was, 1833. This tomb was erected by Louisa in memory of her husband. Oh, yeah. William Ho Hennis, late, late collector of y'all, oh. who departed this life 23rd of June 1833, age 69. So, a collector oh. from y'all. Was he to collecting like money from people renting? I wonder. That's kind of strange. So I know we went the other way. Tax collector, maybe. Will we go this way? I know that brings us back Some out to where we were, but I want to look at this cross. I wonder if there are people buried in that wall. See that? Is oh. that an inscription on there? I don't know. It looks like a little Whoa. space in there. Oh, it does look like there's writing on it. You won't read it now with the sun, yeah. Something there as well. Oh look, if you put the light on my shadow now, where my shadow is. No, it's too hard, it looks, isn't it? I don't know, is it in a different language? Oh dear, there could be somebody in behind that wall. Or maybe that was part of this. Could be all the wood, like. Now, beautiful cross here. And it's so... Look at that, so beautiful. You have to walk up these little steps. In loving memory of Alfred William Davidson Murphy, called to the nearer presence of his heavenly father, aged 41, and he passed away in March 1927. And he has the most beautiful resting place underneath the holly. And as I said, these little steps to get up to see him. Now we'll go right around the church and we will leave it there. A few headstones there in the wall. And a few more along here. So they were possibly removed from the graveyard and just placed along the wall. Why? I'm not sure. Look at this, this says, does that say Richard? Richard. Gil, Gillette. Gillette. Gillette of 
can't read the bottom. And then here, wow, that is hard to read, isn't it? September, the 21st of September, and I know, what's that then, 73? Oh, look at, there's a 1673, 1673, wow. And a 1721 down at the bottom, Elizabeth. Michael, or, oh, I don't know. Those old stones are really, really hard to read. Beautiful chest tomb here. Beautiful designs. Maybe a crypt or a vault. Not really sure. Any date? Miss? 1943. 1943. Yeah. That's really worn, so I think this is newer writing. Miss S.W. Carew. Carew, is it? Miss C.M.B. Carew, October 1959. So the oldest date would start up here. Yeah, and then, and then work its way down. So that's the, the last interred. Look at it, I just spotted this. There's that, that copper, you see that comes from the tower. Oh yeah. For the lightning, I think, is it? I think it is actually, yeah. To protect it from lightning. Yeah, because it's arched there. But look what I just noticed. I thought that was, I know we had seen the headstones laying against the wall. But look at these, these are also all headstones here. There's people buried there. No, I think they must have been removed and placed here. John. What's that? John P. P. Ponsby. Ponsby. Departed this life the fourth day of April, 1810. Aged five months. Five months. Ah. Little tiny. Little headstone. tiny headstone baby. for a little baby. Oh. But we do have... A number of them. Oh, look at the cat. Oh my gosh, he is gorgeous. Look at him. Hello, Puss Puss. Oh, you need to see him. He is gorgeous. Hello, hello, come on, hello, say hello to everybody. Hey, Puss Puss, God, he's gorgeous, the colour of them. Yeah, come on. Oh, look at, he's just going to circle us, is he? Hello. Church. Come here. Come on, Puss Puss. Oh my God, he's beautiful. Colours of him. Oh, wow. So we do have our last few headstones here. And this is actually quite a beautiful spot. It's so well kept, isn't it? It's like a little garden, isn't it? All the way up along here, it's so well kept. Beautiful trees and flowers planted. This is John Hayes, who died in Jesus, 1865, aged 83, and his wife is there as well. Beautiful little small headstone. Mr. Cat has had enough. He's leaving. <laughs> it's nice in here while we're looking at the cat. In the... Oh, just in behind the tree. Look at that. Erected to the memory of Richard. Oh. You see what that says now. 1837, age 65. So Richard, July. 1837, age 65, yeah. Beautiful plaque. Against this huge tree. It's amazing, look at that. 
Wow. So some newer graves there. We have an obelisk just in here. Don't see any writing on it. It's in a beautiful place as well. Isn't it? It's almost like a garden. A lot of work, isn't it? Yeah. Clean. Look at even a... There's a tomb in there even. Just, uh, yeah. Look at that. Actually, do you know something? Because there's steps, there, I think we might be able to read that tombstone before we go. Um, just because it's so well hidden. Ouch. Oh no, we won't. No. no. It's, covered. it's so covered. It's Look at that. Years, yeah. 1800s, erected by Mr. Thomas Roberts. Master, Master in the gunboat service. Master oh. in the gunboat service. So, no, erected by Mr. Thomas Roberts. Master in the gunboat service in memory of his son, John, who... Or the F is an S. Like yeah, an S. yeah. Uh, who died June the 22nd, 1809, aged just five. So Thomas Roberts was a master in the gunboat and his little boy died in 1809, aged just five. But you'll see that. That's master there. But you see, the F always looks like an S and it gets so hard to read. But his little boy was just five. The old style, right? It's so hard to read. I That's got, a beautiful stone. I got confused with that myself before. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. I've kind of gotten used to it, but it still throws me for a, a second to. Uh, whoa, when you see it, trying not to step on the the flowers. I imagine it's funded. I would imagine so. Yeah. But look at it, it is absolutely beautiful and very, very well kept. Oh, what is that? Is that like a... I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a vault or anything, do you? Maybe an old boiler or something? Yeah, because the pipe is coming out of there. Jesus, hardly a... It looks like a grave. Don't tell me there's writing there, is there? No. Okay, so it's not, is it? What is in there? Oh, it's big old boiler. boiler, look at that. Let me see if we can have a look in. It's kind of creepy. Look at that. That's so old, isn't it? Oh, wow. It's a boiler. There would have been steps. See that there? That bit, that was where the steps came down because I can just make out the steps at the back of it behind the orange little tank thing. That's not cool. to be mistaken for a crypt. Yeah, not to be mistaken for a crypt. Or not to be used as a crypt, or a boiler I should say, in a crypt. No, it's definitely a boiler. Boiler house. Right, so guys, I am going to leave it there. Very interesting, that coffin shaped hole in the wall. I've given you the history of that, sad, but it's there for all to see and, you know, to remember all those that died in the famine times. But for now, guys, Take care. God bless. Don't forget to give the video the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Until the next video, guys. Take care. Bye for now.